Hey guys, what's going on? I'm here with Brian Black. He's been teaching me BJJ. I teach him judo. We have like a nice little YouTube collaboration going, right? Yes. So, uneven though. Uneven, but you know, I see the value in your skill. Yeah. And if you're watching this channel, I think you'll really appreciate it because I appreciate your skill set. Thank you for teaching yes. me. And today, I want to go over a little bit of Nawaza or BJJ. That's why I'm wearing my brown belt, right? Uh, I'm a little bit insecure about it sometimes because, you know, I'm a judo guy with stand up. That's where I'm you know, very comfortable. Yeah. So I'm like, ah, you know, that I want to show, but you know, since you're here, I can ride the coattails of your abilities and uh, want to show. You're, like, you're awesome, you're going to do great. Oh, thank you very much. All right, so today I'm going to show you my entry into the armbar from the bottom position from close guard. I know this has been done a million times, but I do a nice little mini trick in between that's kind of nice that gets me a lot of, uh, right, it gets me, it helps me out a lot. Yep. So, Close guard position first, okay, simple, basic. I like to go cross sleeve and cross lapel, okay? The purpose of this cross lapel prevents my opponent from sitting up and away from me. Okay, if he's way back there, my legs are so far away, it's gonna be very difficult to get the, get the armbar, right? So cross lapel, cross sleeve, I bring this hand down so I can monitor his posture. Once I'm capable of bringing this arm across and his posture down, I'm gonna rise my hips up and put my calf over his shoulder, preventing uh, movement and then him posturing up. Okay, so now it's a little bit difficult for him to posture up. I cross my ankles and now I'm sort of in this position and I have upper body control with my legs. From here, I turn my body, I turn my fist and I punch his neck for a quick, cheap little choke that really ever works on anybody good. Because <laughs> when I go here, he's gonna obviously try to fight this hand off and now this is my opportunity to go for this juji. When I do this, I drive my knee inward and I rotate so my heel and my uh, knees are in alignment. And then I take this leg over the head and now I have sort of the juji position from the bottom, okay? I could release, pulling toward the pinky. I could drive my hips up and finish the juji, right? So again, cross lapel, cross sleeve, boom. Hips up, ankles crossed. I try to punch this choke in. I turn my body so I'm looking into his ear, leg over the head, juji. Okay, when I'm in this position, I'm very aware most people are going to be able to extract this bottom arm. And as they do so, I'm bringing my foot through, looking for that juji on the other side, right? The only reason why I'm showing you that is to prove to you that I do BJJ sometimes, yes, right? Not in the conventional sense where I go to a dojo and do it, but I do it with you. We're doing it all right? the time. We're doing it, yeah. right? And uh, high level stuff, I endorse this message. Oh, thank you. Very nice. Very much. Right? If you like this, go check out his channel. He's got a lot of good stuff. And uh, we'll do it again soon. Yeah, I, I did it. I uh, dipped my toes into the world of Nawaza. It's just the beginning. Yeah. Right? It's just the beginning, hopefully. Oh, so. Thank you. Thank you.